In my opinion, November is one of the best times of the year to target bass, and you can create some great memories whenever you're out on the water this month. If you know what you're doing during November, you can catch some trophy-sized bass. I love fishing during the fall because you catch them up shallow, and you can also catch them in deeper water, and the bass are very aggressive because they're getting ready for the winter. Whenever selecting lures to use in November, it is important to consider where the bass are located at and what forage the bass are feeding on. During the fall, the bass will have only one thing on their mind, and that's to eat as much bait fish as possible to get ready for the winter. During the fall, you can have some of the best days out on the water, and it is what I look forward to most all year. It was hard to select just five lures to talk about today, so I decided to add a bonus lure to the list. These six lures are my confidence baits to use in November or any time I'm fishing during the fall. These lures will work in many different situations throughout the whole country, and will catch some huge bass whenever you are fishing during November. Let me know down below if you agree or disagree with my top five baits to use during November in the comments section down below. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing down below. We are on the way to 5K by the end of the year and I would love to have you join the community. At the time of recording this, the channel is at 3.03K subs and I just wanted to say I really do appreciate all the support that the channel has been getting recently. The first lure I want to talk about today is the crankbait. During November, the bass are feeding heavily on bait fish to get ready for the winter that is quickly approaching. The crankbait truly shines during the late fall because of how many different forages you can imitate with it and how deep you can fish your crankbait. Whenever I am fishing a crankbait during the fall, I normally like to match the hatch with wherever I'm fishing at, but generally I like to imitate shad, blueback herring, or bluegill whenever I'm fishing a crankbait. However, it really depends on what the bass are feeding on in the body of water that you are fishing. The bass will be pushing the bait fish up shallow into the backs of pockets. However, there will also be a population of bass that are out deeper chasing bait fish in November. This is whenever the crankbait truly shines because you can be fishing a square bill to target the shallow bass or you can fish a deeper diving crankbait to target the deeper bass. This does depend on where the bass are staging up in the body of water that you are fishing, but this will be a good way to narrow down where you target the bass at. The crankbait is one of my favorite reaction lures, and you will catch some good quality bass whenever you are fishing the crankbait. You can trigger some of the most aggressive reaction strikes from the bass whenever you are fishing a crankbait, especially in November. My favorite way to trigger these aggressive reaction strikes from the bass is by burning the crankbait as fast as I can across the bottom. This makes the bass have to react quickly, giving them no time to think if it's a lure or an actual bait fish. You can trick even the biggest bass in the body of water that you are fishing by burning a crankbait, especially if you're fishing it in the right area. You can get some of the best reaction bites this time of year and could potentially catch your next PB. You could even add some pauses in to trick even the most hesitant of bass to bite your your crankbait. Make sure whenever you're out during November that you have the crankbait tied on so you can catch even the most pressured bass. The second lure I'm going to talk about today is the jig. The jig is one of my favorite lures to use whenever I'm fishing the bottom and is extremely effective during November. A jig can produce some quality bites during November and is one of my confidence baits to catch big bass all year long but especially during November. During the month the bass will be relating more to shallow of water because they're pushing bait fish up shallow to get ready for the winter. However, some bass will be out deep during November and this is whenever the jig truly does shine. The football jig is one of my favorite lures to use during the late fall, working it slowly across the bottom. During this time of year, whenever I'm fishing deep, I like to fish the jig in creek channels trying to target some bigger bass. The jig works well in many different situations, but especially around rocks, wood cover and docks. Being able to fish the jig slowly in these types of areas will trick even the most hesitant of bass to bite your jig when they will not bite any other lure. This time of year, I like to throw two different styles of jigs. The first jig I like to throw is a football jig. The football jig is my go-to jig most of the time because I have a lot of confidence in it and it catches some good quality bass, especially if you're fishing it in the right situations. However, the bass will relate to shallow water 
and deeper water this time of year. I was on a lake here in West North Carolina using the football jig, targeting bass that were up in shallow water and deeper water. Whenever I am fishing a football jig during this time of the year, I like to fish it as slow as possible so I can stay in the strike zone for even longer. Fishing your jig slowly this time of year can trigger even the most hesitant of bass to bite your lure. The second style of jig I like is the finesse jig. The finesse jig does well whenever the bass are not wanting to commit to a full size jig presentation and catches some giant bass. Don't think that a smaller presentation jig will catch only small bass. It will catch some good quality size bass too. Make sure that you fish the jig in both shallow and deeper water situations during November. There's many different types of jigs and trailers to choose from and can be very overwhelming. I plan on doing a more in-depth video talking about fall jig fishing, so if that interests you, make sure you comment down below so I know that you're interested. The jig truly shines in many different scenarios and catches some giant bass this time of year. The drawing power of a larger profile jig is one of my favorite ways to get big bites during November and is one of my favorite techniques to get those big bites. The third lure I want to talk about today is the jerk bait. The jerk bait is an important lure to have tied on this time of year due to water temperatures being so low in November. The jerk bait shines in colder water temperatures and is one of my favorite ways to trigger a reaction strike out of even the most hesitant of bass. The jerk bait is one of the best lures that you can have tied on during November. Whenever it comes down to what you should imitate whenever you are fishing the jerk bait, it is important to match the hatch with wherever you're fishing at. I mainly throw colors that imitate shad, blueback herring, or other bait fish that the bass will be feeding on during November. However, it really depends on what the bass are feeding on in the body of water that you are fishing. For example, some lakes in the country might have a large population of perch that they feed on, while other lakes in the country might have a large population of sunfish that the bass feed on. I like to fish a jerk bait or a soft style jerk bait depend on what type of cover I am fishing around. Whenever it comes down to selecting what jerk bait to use, I always reach for a Mega Bass Vision 110 because of how lifelike it looks whenever it's coming through the water. Compared to other jerk baits in my opinion, the Mega Bass Vision 110 has the best action of any jerk bait hands down. The Mega Bass Vision 110 has caught me many nice bass over the years and is definitely a staple in any tactic tackle bots, especially during November. Whenever I am fishing a jerk bait, I am normally fishing it in more open water situations or near the bank, depending on where the bass are feeding at. Whenever it comes down to selecting a soft style jerk bait to use, most of the time I like to go with a flute made by Strike King because of its action whenever it is coming through the water column. I like to fish the soft style jerk bait around cover that I would normally not fish the Mega Bass Vision 110 around. Due to me Texas rigging the fluke so it does not get hung up as much, compared to using the Mega Bass Vision 110. This is because fishing the Mega Bass Vision 110 around cover will get hung up a lot more due to the treble hooks. Whenever it comes down to selecting what jerk bait or soft style jerk bait to use, it really does come down to personal preference and what you like the best. Make sure whenever you are targeting bass during November that you have the jerk bait tied on. It was hard to select just five lures to talk about this month, so I decided to add a bonus lure to the list. The bonus lure I'm gonna talk about today is the Ned Rig. Whenever the bass are not committing to any any other presentation, I will always reach for the Ned Rig. The Ned Rig is one of the best finesse techniques that you can use and works well in many different scenarios. The Ned Rig resembles many different types of forages that the bass are feeding on and looks very natural when you are fishing it. The small profile of the Ned Rig does well whenever imitating the smaller bait fish that are present in the water during November and is an effective way to catch them this time of year. Whenever I am fishing a Ned Rig, during November. I normally imitate shad, blueback herring, 
where bluegill depend on what is present in the body of water that I am fishing. Many people think that the Ned Rig catches small fish only, but I am here to tell you that the Ned Rig catches some good quality bass. My personal best smallmouth was caught during the late fall, and I have caught countless other big fish on the Ned Rig whenever the water temperature starts to drop. The Ned Rig is the perfect lure to use when the bass do not want to bite because of how many different forages you can imitate and the action of it coming through the water column. Personally, I like to fish the Z-Man Finesse TRD 90% of the time whenever I am fishing the Ned Rig due to the buoyancy in the water. The buoyancy makes the Ned Rig look very realistic whenever you're working it across the bottom and can trick even the most hesitant of bass to bite. There's many different styles of retrieves that you can do whenever you're fishing the Ned Rig, but generally during November I like to fish it as slowly as possible so I can get the most bites. Make sure whenever you're out during November that you have the Ned Rig tied on so you can catch some good quality bass. The fourth lure I want to talk about today is the underspin. The underspin is a great choice to use especially whenever the bass are targeting bait fish like they are in November. The underspin stands out compared to all the other bait fish due to the blade under the jig head and can draw some aggressive strikes this time of year. The underspin can set you apart from all the other bait fish in the water and makes the bass key in on your lure. The underspin does well especially when imitating shad or blueback herring depending on where you're fishing at in the country. However it's really important to consider what the bass are feeding on in the body of water that you are fishing. You can also change what size bait fish you are imitating by changing up the soft plastic on the back of your jig head. Personally I like to use a Kitek Fat Swing Impact but it really does come down to personal preference and what works best for you. By selecting the right size soft plastic to use, you can better imitate what the bass are feeding on during the late fall, but generally I like to go with a smaller size paddle tail just because of how small the bait fish are during this time of year. Don't be afraid to throw a larger size paddle tail this time of year, especially if you're trying to target bigger bass. It is important to experiment with different presentations whenever you're fishing with the underspin to see what will get you the most bites. Generally during the late fall the bass will be up shallow suspended higher up in the water column. Also some of the bass will be in deeper water and the underspin can target them in both situations. This is the perfect time to pick up the underspin and will result in some huge bites. The fifth lure I want to talk about today is the drop shot. Whenever the bite gets tough on these cold days in November I will pick up the drop shot. There's something special about fishing the the drop shot, especially whenever the bass are feeding on bait fish. The drop shot is one of the most effective lures to use, especially whenever the bass are not wanting to hit a moving bait. The two most important things to consider whenever you're fishing a drop shot is what soft plastic you're using and what hook you're using. Whenever choosing what soft plastic to use, it is important to consider what bait fish are in the body of water that you are fishing. A good rule of thumb is to match the hatch with wherever you are fishing at. However, this time of year, I like to imitate shad, blueback herring, or bluegill depending on where I'm fishing. Whenever choosing what hook to use and how you're going to rig it, it is important to consider what type of cover you are going to be fishing around with the drop shot. If you are going to be fishing around a lot of wood, for example, you might want to Texas rig your soft plastic. Most of the time, I like to nose hook my soft plastic with a smaller wire hook because it gives a lot of action to the soft plastic you are using whenever you add rod twitches. Also, it is important to consider what type of weight you're using whenever you're fishing the drop shot. You want to use as light of a weight as you possibly can to get the most action out of your soft plastic. This will help you land more bass with the drop shot during November and will make you a lot more efficient whenever you're using it. The drop shot shines in many types of situations and just straight up catches some big bass. These are my top five lures to use in November and these lures will help you catch more bass whenever you're fishing this month. It 
is hard to select just five lures and a bonus lure for this month, but these lures will work in many different situations throughout the whole entire country. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Also, let me know if you agree or disagree with the top five lures and bonus lure I picked for this month, or if I missed your favorite lure to use in November. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button to help the video in the YouTube algorithm so more people can get recommended this video. If you are not subscribed and you made it this far, I would love to have you join the channel. I mean, if you're not subscribed by now, what are you doing? Especially since you made it this far in the video. If you want to see my favorite lures to use throughout the fall, make sure you check out this video right here. <laughs>